Hi there. I am here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do these cards have to say today? Ooh, Ten of Sword. Queen of Wand. Death. King of Sword. Two of Sword. King of Wands. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. Okay. Some things definitely coming to a close here. Big transition happening here. Uh, changes for the better. Decisions are being made. Clear decisions are being made here. Uh, this Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Uh, I feel like your person really does want to connect with you here. King and Queen of Wands. It's like there's some sort of creative... Um, endeavor opening up here. This particular Queen of Wands looks like she's like stepping out of like a, a, a storybook is what I'm getting. She's she's genuine here. She's holding her heart. Uh, there's like heartfelt energies here. There's power here. There is uh, protection here. There's a lot of energy here. Looks like the it looks like the King of Wands is also like has his hand on his heart here. Uh, there's something being illuminated here for your person. Uh, I feel like they're about to communicate with you uh, with this Eight of Wands. I feel like they they're going to. Um, send you some form of communication. I feel like it's going to be good news. I feel like they're going to tell you that, okay, I've made a decision. Um, and, you know, there's something about this four of wands is in their heart space. So, you know, four of wands is, is um, you know, can be the celebration card. It's like, I feel like they've taken the steps um, to change whatever needed to be changed here. You know, we got Ten of Sword and Death here. So there's definitely uh, a transition here. Uh, let's clarify that. Let's clarify that Ten of Sword, Sun Energy. Okay, so I'm looking, you know, I'm looking at, I'm, I was looking at that King of Wands and it looks like on his shirt, he's holding his hand on his heart. He's got feathers, like protection feathers. Uh, he's got the, the lion there, like, um... Uh, watching over. Uh, there's strong protection here, but I, I was noticing the sun on his shirt. Uh, and then I was looking at the Queen of Wands, and I wasn't sure if that was sun energy also, you know, but but we also have the eclipse energy today. As I'm as I'm doing this reading, uh, we had the solar eclipse today. Uh, and here's the sun energy again on this Ten of Sword. So maybe this eclipse energy, it's been very powerful lately. It has been showing up um, in my the last few readings I've done, the sun or the moon or both, one or both. Uh, there's something about maybe that this solar eclipse is um, making transitions here or helping to... Um, ease this transition. Uh, Ten of Swords death. Let's put one on this death card. Uh, lover's energy. Yeah, I feel like they want to uh, transform this relationship. Maybe, um, you know, it is Aries. Um, and I believe the it's a, a Aries eclipse. If I'm I'm not an astrologer, but I, I believe it's like this Aries energy, um, and it's like about you know relationships, choices, um, changes um, in in relationships here. Uh, so I feel like you may be hearing from your person very soon. You know, the Eight of Wands, uh, Eight of Wands in their thought space. I feel like they're ready to let loose all of the things that they've been holding back here. Let's pull uh, one on that Eight of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's like you have this, if this is your reading, you and your person are destined to connect. You are destined to um, reunite, unite, um, whatever word you want to use here. I'm getting that from this four of wand energy. It's like rejoicing energy here. Five of coin. Yeah, they, they really miss you. Maybe they're done being without you here with the ten of 
swords, you know, they don't want to be without you anymore. So it's like time to uh, speak up, say something, communicate, make that decision. I definitely feel like they made a decision here with the king of sword to a sword energy. It's like they've made a decision. Um, and, you know, with the wheel of fortune there also, uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. I feel like it's it's a destined decision here. Confirmation with the with the beep in the background. There's something about you know the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So it's like the you know the choice. I feel like the choice has already been made, but now it's time for your person to like catch up with what choice the universe is guiding your person to take here. Uh, let's pull one on the Two of Sword. Hermit energy. Yeah, it's like they've, they've found their inner wisdom. You know, hermit's very uh, connected to the soul. There's something you and your person are destined to create uh, with this king and queen of wands, and it's falling into place now. I feel like the universe is helping your person make that decision. Yeah, the magician. Time to manifest. Time to begin. Uh, it's time to move forward. It's time to step onto the path of destiny. The both of you. Uh, six of Wands, yeah, there's success here. There's there's uh, goals being set and goals being reached. Maybe it's been a long-term goal here. King of Cups energy, yes, there's strong love here. There's emotional fulfillment. Bottom of this deck is Emperor. It's like, okay, time to step up, take command. Uh, Ace of Cups, maybe express love. You know, uh, make the choice for love. Choose love is what I'm getting. Wow. All right, let us close with a mystical shaman oracle message. Uh, what's the closing words of wisdom from the mystical shaman oracle? Okay, this one just kind of jumped right out. Pachamama. You know, I think Pachamama came out in my Earth Warriors deck uh, in one of the recent readings. But let's read what Pachamama has to say in this particular, uh, the mystical shaman oracle. Says you are a child of the earth. Now is the time to eat right, love right, and be joyous. Regardless of the circumstances you may find yourself in, be grateful for your life, your body, and all that nourishes you. Pachamama invites you to relish each breath, embrace your joy and your pain equally, and discover love through both. Let Pachamama know how much you appreciate all her blessings with an act of service, such as planting a tree, helping save an endangered species, or protecting the ocean. Interesting that Queen of Wands seemed like she was like, um, you know, like jumping out of the ocean. I feel like, like she, it was kind of like, it felt like she's stepping out of a book, but maybe she's like, um, this feels like, um, this feels very sp spiritual, like parting the sea or stepping out of the book here, like the story, like writing a new story. Uh, let's um, uh, let's read the essence of this card and, and uh, we'll call it a reading. If you are still watching, please do like, subscribe, comment. I uh, very much appreciate it. Okay, Pachamama represents the unconditional love that the earth has for all her children, including the stones, the plants, the animals, and humans. She is the goddess of earth, also known as Gaia, who pervades all creation in our planet. Thanks to Pachamama, our timeless soul can experience life in a biological body. The joy and pain we taste during our brief time on earth are invitations to discover the boundless love of Pachamama. Peace be with you. Bye now.